Hello YouTube viewers, welcome back to another video tutorial. In this tutorial we're just going to cover setting a guest network up on a router with DDWRT firmware version 3. Basically a virtual access point as they call it nowadays. There's a lot of tutorials on YouTube but unfortunately a lot of them are out of date so we're going to uh, demonstrate this to you. Open a browser. Uh, in the browser enter your router IP. So 192.168.12.1 if you find it from us and click enter. If you haven't, obviously enter your IP in there. Uh, select any of the tabs across the top if you're using Chrome and it will bring up your um, login details. So obviously admin and password if you've had it from us. One thing I will say is if you're using Internet Explorer, just be aware that sometimes this box opens up behind this window and you can't see it. So admin and password, login. Okay, select the wireless tab across the top. Now, on uh, you've got this is a R7000. Depending on what route you've got, you'll have your wireless here. Obviously, that's the 2.4 gigahertz, and this is the five. You might have a tri-band one. There might be another one. Um, but beneath each section, you've got a virtual interface. Now, if you want to set up two, you would obviously add both. But we're just going to do it for demonstration purposes. Excuse me. We're only going to do one on, on the five gigahertz network. Now, when you're setting this up, you need to know if you want to give your guest access to everything else that's on your network. So if you've got NAS drives, printers, hard drives, whatever, basically, anything anything other than just getting out onto the internet. Now, when you're setting up a guest network, normally you would reduce, you stop access to anything on your network other than giving them access to the internet. That's why it's a guest network. So if you're not, you may as well just give them your Wi-Fi password, basically. So we're going to set this up. So all it's doing is giving the guest uh, access to the internet. So we're going to click add under the virtual interface under the five gigahertz network. We're going to select add. Scroll back down because it opens up like that. Now, as you can see, let me just show you that. Now, as you can see at the moment, it's connected to DDWRT on the five gigahertz network. And this is a Samsung S7. So what we're going to do here is we're going to DDWRT and then we're going to call it hyphen guest okay and obviously you can see I've set them up before because it's cached it okay right this is the important bit if you don't want people to access your other like say your network basically you want to click on bridge scroll down and select net isolation and we're going to give it an IP now what I would say it's got to be on a different subnet now you can see the subnet is 12 here. It's got to give it a different number to that. Now it doesn't want to clash with your other router if you're using a dual router setup. Without complicating matters, try and keep it away from 0 and 1. Most of you will be safe. So we're going to type in 192 tab 168 tab and I'm going to give it a 15 subnet and 1. Okay. Now in here in your subnet mask we're going to 255 tab 255 tab 255 and basically the tab just moves it obviously from from box to box so it's clicking in it okay I'm just going to click save to that and then select the wireless security and as you can see at the moment ah, well, I should have just mentioned that to you let me just go back uh, you need to know this obviously you can see wireless there we go start on the 2.4 wireless LAN 0 wireless LAN 1 well WL1 obviously it stands for wireless LAN um, and obviously again wireless LAN 1.1 for the guest network okay so scroll back up and click on wireless security and at the moment you can see the wireless LAN 1.1 has got uh, basically it's got no security on it so in other words it's open to the internet in the in the drop down tab you want to come down to WPA2 personal and select that and you want AES which should automatically be selected now as you can see what I would do is keep it away from the same key as what you've got for the other two networks because you'll get a clever devil of a friend or kids or whatever that's going to be able to access your other network using the same key so what I would do is just call it anything you want but in this case we're going to call it let me just highlight that so we're going to for demonstration purposes, I'm just going to call it Snowman 55. Okay, click save. So they're obviously now on different, they've got different access keys to access it. 
Now, if you select that, as you can see at the moment, it's still it's still not showing, which is fine. If you click on Setup and then click on Network, we're going to go down to the bottom, select the DHCP DHCP server, click Add. Now this is why you needed to remember your. So if in the drop down menu, you want to select. Uh, beg your pardon, we haven't uh, we haven't saved it yet, have we? We all we've done is click Save. So wireless. Down to the point, apply settings. And then select setup, network, slide down to the bottom, um, the DHCP server. Scroll down. And now you'll see your wireless lands there, 1.1. And just click save. And now you can see there's the IP, the 192.168.15.1 and the sub 255.255.0. Click apply settings. And now you'll need to reboot it. Even though it will show up, you can't connect to it. It'll be there now, but you still can't connect to it. So, administration and management. And then scroll out to the bottom and click reboot router. Now let's really just skip this because it takes about 30 odd seconds. Okay, just waiting for the lights to come back on onto the router. The two 2.4 and 5 gigahertz Wi-Fi lights always last two to come on. When they're on, you know uh, you're good to go. Right, they're on now, so I can refresh that or just uh, highlight that. Click delete. Okay, so now let me scroll down to here. Click connect. And there we go guys. All connected. So you've got a guest network that can't access. Basically I can't get with this phone now onto my NAS drive or onto anything else other than the internet using the Wi-Fi. Which is basically more secure for if you've got children that bring friends around and uh, well there's a million and one reasons why you'd want them not to access your network so i'm going to leave it there i mean you can even just give your kids network to uh, obviously um access to this without and give them access to your files if you wish or whatever your circumstances are that's basically how you do it anyway uh, and as i say you can have two guest networks if you want one for 2.4 and one for 5 gigahertz and call them obviously whatever you want so I'm just going to leave it there. Hopefully it's been of some use to you and uh, we're going to catch you on the next one. Thanks for watching.